Hey everybody, um, this is going to be your example video on your 3.5 Math Excel. And on this first problem, I did like the view and example um, about using your three equations. Uh, and you also have x, y, and z. So the first thing is make sure that you have all of your letters on the same side of the equal sign. Uh, and put them in alphabetic order. Most of them are like that, but not all. Um, and then only have your numbers on this side. So um, from here, you have to group a couple of them together. Like in this case, I used the plus and minus y equations, and I grouped them together, and I solved by elimination. Now after that, I used um, the one that I didn't use yet, which was the first one. And what I wanted to do was since I eliminated y from this, then that means you need to eliminate y from this one. And so I took my second equation, and if I'm grouping these two together for there, um, then I needed to multiply equation 2 times 3 to make the plus and minus 3y cancel. And so 3 times 3 is 9. Um, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Negative 26 times 3 is negative 78. Um, then you add these, and then we just eliminated y. So now we need to use those two and cancel either X or Z. Um, what I did, again, I followed the example um, where it wanted you to cancel X, which is actually really large numbers. Um, basically, the 92 times negative 3 gave you negative 276. So you multiply all of those by negative 3. So negative 8 times negative 3 is 24. Negative 26 times negative 3 is positive 78. And then on this one, 12 times 23 gives you 276. Negative 4 times 23 gives you negative 92. And negative 30 times 23 gives you negative 690. Um, then you cancel your x's and you get negative 68x. I'm sorry, z, negative 68z equal negative 612. And so then when you divide, you get 9. Now, if this were me doing it, I probably would have looked at these two and said, multiply your bottom one by negative 2, because that'd be simpler to, multi uh, to cancel z first. Um, so whichever way. OK. So um, then from there, you got to plug your 9 answer into this equation. And we end up getting x is a half. And then we plug the half and the 9 in for x and for z. And we have to find y. So we use like one of the original equations, one of these two and put our two answers in, and then we eventually found our y answer. So then you get it like that. So that really is a lot of work. Um, but then the way to do it uh, from this point on would be doing matrices. So um, this time I'm going to walk through it on the calculator. Um, the first thing you need to do is um, think of this is your x column, this is your y column, this is your z column, and this is your constants. And this you can think of as row 1, row 2, row 3. So all you do is you take your coefficients and your constants. Um, your goal is to end up with a diagonal of 1s with zeros everywhere else. And then these would actually be your answers. So this would be the answer for x, because it's 1x. This would be your answer for y, because it's 1y. And this would be your answer for z. 
Okay, and then um, we need to use our ref, which is um, going to do your Gaussian elimination for you. So um, how we actually do this, there's two main things we got to do. From the scratch pad, you're going to do menu 7, which is matrix and vector. And then there's R ref, or you could type in R ref. And then the other one we're always going to use is create. So um, let me show you how to do this now. So what I like to do is I um, go to the calculate screen. I'm just going to type R, R, E, F. Okay, if you didn't want to just type that from your keypad, um, what you could have done is you could have gone menu, seven, and then reduced row echelon form is number five. So there's your R ref. Um, you do need to make sure you have parentheses like it does. And then from there, you got to create your matrix. Once you get the hang of this, this will go very easy. Um, you're going to do menu seven. You need to create a matrix, which is one. And you want, you know, matrix. Here you want to say three rows and four columns. So I do three tab four tab and I get to OK. So now I have space to write all of mine. So I go three tab three negative um, negative three, five tab, 48 tab, three tab, and so on. Okay, so now that you have it, you're done. You just push enter. It tells you your answer as one half, negative a half, nine. So um, it showed you your result matrix, and then these are your answers. And so x is a half, y is negative a half, z is nine. So the triple would be um, this. Make sure you do x, y, z. And this does match what we did earlier um, by going by hand. That was one half negative one half nine. One half negative one half nine. So this is probably the best way to do it um, because it's going to save a lot of time. Okay, on your next one, um, what you do is you do your R ref of um, all your numbers your coefficients basically. You're doing Q, R, and S. So just make sure they're alphabetical. And you do the R ref and it gives you your answer. This one you're using A, B, and C. So line up your A's, line up your B's, line up your C's. It's really important in this lesson to be neat. Like I used a lot of spacing, you know, just to help. Um, then you do your R ref and then you get your answers. So um, you are going to get fraction answers sometimes. And then on this one, it involved X, Y, and Z. And so um, when you do R ref of this, you get these answers. So um, all the time, the numbers are going to be different. Now for the next one, um, this says a stadium, or actually, yeah, a stadium has 46,000 seats. Seats sell for $42 in Section A, $36 in B, and $30 in C. The number of seats in A equals the total number in B and C. Suppose the stadium takes in 1,743,600 from each sold out event. How many seats does each section hold? So the first thing is you use your 46,000, and that will be your first equation. A plus B plus C is 46,000. 
The next one is the number of seats in A equals the total number in B and C. So total means add. So you have A equal B plus C. Now remember that you can't have it in that form for it to work, so we have to make it A minus B minus C equals zero. Okay, and then the next part is you got $42 for A, so 42A, 36B, 30C, and then your total dollar amount. So then here you do your R ref of everything. Again, make sure you use one, negative one, and negative one for these, and zero. Um, and then it gives you your answer. So 23,000 for A, 14,600 for B, and 8,400 for C. So um, this one, I think, has actual separate blanks. It's like three answers. And you check each part. Um, the next one says um, to use substitution, but you can still use matrices. You just have to be careful. Um, so remember earlier I said line things up really good? Well, this one has A plus B minus 5C, but this one doesn't have an A term. So I put the negative 3B under the B column. So we have your negative 3B plus C equal negative 5. And this one just has C equal 1. So um, you can still do your R ref on it because it is the most efficient way. Um, you'd have 1, 1, negative 5, negative 7, then 0, negative 3, 1, negative 5, and 0, 0, 1, 1. Because it's a 1 for the C and a 1 for the constant. So when you do that, you get negative 4, 2, 1. So again, the main thing is when you're doing these, um, type R, R, E, F, make sure you do parentheses, and then you go menu, seven, one, and then you go one for create, and make sure you're doing a three by four. Whoops, don't do up and down arrow because that's adjusting this. You have to hit tab. Okay, then you type in your numbers. So like we did, you know, on that first one. On this one, um, you have your um, x, so you put one, negative four y, so negative four, and so forth. Um, these were already lined up with everything, and you get nine, three, five. And on this one, you have um, everything for your first row, everything for your second row, but then on this one, uh-oh, there's no X, so you put a zero here, and then you put everything else. So then when you do that, you get four, three, one. So these are actually really easy once you do your R ref and you plug it in. This is your reduced row echelon form, but everybody just calls it RREF. Okay, so then um, for this one, for extra practice A, you have 4A plus 7B. You don't have anything for C, and you say equal negative 31. On this one, you have 8A. You don't have anything for B. You have negative 4C equal 8. On this one, you don't have anything for A and you have your 6B and your negative 4C equal negative 30. So your uh, matrix would look like this. You go 4, 7, 0, negative 31, 8, 0, negative 4, 8, and 0, 6, negative 4, negative 30. When you do that, you get 1, negative 5, 0. So that's your triple. It's not an ordered pair, it's an ordered triple because pair is two. Okay, then for what I believe is your very last one, um, extra practice B, you've got these numbers, and so you take your 5, 3, 1, because 1 is your coefficient, with the 22. Then you go 1, negative 3, 2, with your negative 10, 
and you take your 14, negative 2, 3 with your 20. And when you do this, you get 2, 4, 0. So um, that's basically the assignment. Um, it's possible when they change the numbers that you could get no solution. Could get no solution um, or infinite if your numbers change. But on my example, every time I went through it, I had numbers. So it um, just depends on how lucky you are, so to speak. Okay, um, have a good one.